Hey guys, Panda here. I just want to show a few little tips here, especially uh, you know if you start the game new and you haven't like gotten into this type of stuff, as far as what goes on once you get to the town here. Uh, your merchants, you have three of them right here in town so far that I've discovered. This one here deals with uh, gems. I'm not exactly sure how it goes, but I know that uh, gems you know, drop off of uh, different mobs once you start getting higher level. I don't know if there's particular gear that uh, is set to take gems or if you can just put gear into or put any piece of gear in there and put a gem into it. So something to find out, but this is uh, who you talk to here. And eventually this person actually will have some gems in there for sell as well. Anyway, moving on over here. This is your merchant for armor and potions. You buy one potion each time you come in here. Each potion has 20 charges. I don't say necklaces. Of course, uh, yeah, here's your, your gear. Now, I don't know if the gear level goes up as you level up or if it's strictly only this level gear for sale here and also the other thing to pay attention to on, on your gear is each one's labeled like a, a bruiser sorcerer heavy rogue you know you can wear any type of gear so far from what I found but there is specific gear for what class or I guess what build you're doing so I hopefully we'll find out more as we go catalyst okay so yeah anyways that's kind of that one then of course uh, last merchant over here Demetra this is the one that deals with your uh, Anoraks. Each Anorak uh, has like different abilities based on the class. Make sure you pay attention because it's only utilizable with different types of weapons. Okay, so it's kind of funny because I have a uh, a dagger equipped in one hand and a sword in the other, and it's kind of funny because this one here you could use with melee weapons. This one here is melee weapons. This one here, stabs or catalyst. Stabs or catalyst. Stabs or catalyst. So yeah, just kind of a little thing there. You know, check out the merchants, get familiar with them. And other than that, just, uh, you know, grind as much as you can, level up and get the gear. Because some of the encounters do get a little bit harder if you haven't leveled up a little bit more so that's really the last tip i can think of so peace out guys hey guys back here again too um i want to show you something you know i'm primarily picking up only the blue stuff now because your inventory fills up so damn fast not even funny but some of the drops you get here and i'm only like level seven and stuff you know i've already gotten a uh you know a unique basically an epic uh, dagger i have a dagger and an axe equipped Kind of just, you know, did that so I could get like a different ability. I don't know if I like it yet or not, but it's the uh, Havoc Orb. Just barely got it. I got a uh, rare arm armor, rare pants, you know, kind of just working through it. But everything else here, I'm just going to sell. I mean, I'm not sure if uh, once we get crafting... You know, I, I think I may have heard something that we'll be able to break our gear down, perhaps, hopefully. I don't know if anyone knows anything uh, on that. You know, definitely pop a comment. Because, yeah, it'd be really cool if we could... I mean, it's nice to get the money, but if we could actually take that gear and, uh, you know, break it down into other components for crafting, you know, I'm assuming that's what we'll be able to do. But, yeah, just a little bit of a tip there. Your inventory fills up fast, so... You know, be picky, come back, you know, teleport back to the town when you can, you know, when you got to sell stuff. So, yep. Anyways, enjoy, guys.